This is $58,800. It's not an F-150. This is cheaper than a lot of F-150s. The F-150, everybody says the F-150 is getting out of reach for most people. I can't afford a new F-150. Well, this is an F-250 STX four-wheel drive. That's 75 feet worth of bed. It's only in an extended cab, but it's an F-250, which means that you still got a lot of room back there. This is an STX, so it's an XL with some good looking wheels and some carpet and stuff. Let's see here, what else we got? We got a VA V12 back there, two USB-Cs to charge up phones. We got a couple of cup holders in there. There's the mats. We've got a 12 volt right there. Got a real power outlet. You got a little tray down there, another USB-C, a USB-D. Got a 12 volt single zone air conditioner so you don't get to have two zones right there it is got a small screen i'm not gonna lie but if do you notice do you notice something i'm walking around this thing and i'm not having to scream at you i mean i'm talking loud but i'm a loud talker my mom used to say your voice would carry anyway how much did we say this was fifty-eight thousand dollars this has a gasser, 6.8 liter, V8 under the hood. Can I borrow your window sticker? Thank you. All right, what are we looking at here? 2024, 6.8 V8 with a 10-speed automatic. Here's what we got. So we're looking at 58,830. So we've got an STX appearance package for $5,200. That gives us 275, 70, 18 inch all terrain. We got blind spot info. We got ebony black wheels, LED lighting, payload package upgrade, reverse sensing system, 360 degree camera package. That's good. Cloth folded 20S seat, running boards for 445. Oh, roof clearance laps for $95. It doesn't matter who cares about the. Oh, we got the tailgate step. We're going to play with that $58,830. And what does it have? It's got my favorite feature. His favorite feature right here. It doesn't have a soft opening tailgate, but it's got it's got the B right there. Look at that shaft that pops up right out of there. And then, see the little step it's rated for about full, hun. You just take that first foot and you just plop that down right there. Then you reach up with your left hand. If you're not holding a phone or a camera in your right hand, you could use your right hand, but I'm gonna use my left. And we're gonna reach up here and grab that, and then you just pull yourself right back up. Did you see how easy and simple that was? This one did have the LED lighting package, like it said, so there's those. And you've also got an LED light coming off of that. 360 camera one camera then you've got another camera off of that mirror you got another camera off of that mirror you got a camera coming off of this tailgate right here hang on we're not quite done just yet hold on just one more second walk on up here because you noticed that said 360 degree camera so you can see all the way around you right there Casey, but I just can't deal with those panel gaps. That's not a panel gap. You could do a 6.8 or a 7.3 liter gas, or obviously go up into the power strokes. You could do a regular output 6.7, or you could also do the high output 6.7. Like I said, this is a gasser, the smaller gasser engine. That's what keeps the price down. The suspension's pretty hard. It's not as smooth riding as an F-150, but this is a lot of truck for $58,000. And if you didn't have the STX appearance package, you could even drop it down to, what, 53,000? That's a whole lot of truck. Anyway, if you don't need a diesel in a Super Duty truck, try a gasser. The gas mileage sucks. It's not gonna be good. Like four miles per gallon in town, six miles per gallon on the highway. You know what I mean? It's that bad. Bye.